G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade and today we're going to get into the details about the Arcade Time Capsule. We're going to look at what it is, how to get it, how it works guys, so hopefully this video will answer a lot of the questions that you may have. So let's start with what it is and effectively the arcade time capsule it's a VR only arcade environment and has a focus on authentic and realistic arcade cabinets the, the detail on these cabinets guys is phenomenal it's early in development even though the current version is version 2.0 and it has one developer and his name is half deck and he's doing this really as a passion project for himself and it's just sort of blown up recently from the last video it is free to download guys uh, which is phenomenal because it's just an incredible environment to enjoy all your original 80s and 90s classic games so can you play without a VR headset uh, no you can't at this point this is a VR experience only if you don't have a VR headset, there is an affiliate link in the description to the very popular and recently released MetaQuest 3 VR headset, so I'd certainly recommend that. What VR headsets does it support though? Well, Half Deck mentions in his uh, instruction document the HP Reverb G2, the Valve Index, the MetaQuest 2 and 3, uh, although 2 and 3 need to be PC tethered using the link cable or via the air link. You can't load it into the Quest 2 or 3. Uh, other headsets are not listed in his instructions or are compatible, such as the HTC Vive, the Vive Pro, Pro 2, uh, the Pico Neo 3 and the Pico 4 for example they're all compatible the key is that the headset needs to be PC VR compa uh, compatible guys because uh, the game is an executable and it's running on Windows 10 or 11 what's the minimum PC specification uh, that this needs well these are the minimum specs from half decks install instructions document and he quotes that the game should perform relatively well if your gaming machine meets or exceeds the following. And he's listed Windows 10, uh, a 1080 Ti, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, a Quest 2 with the link cable or HP Reverb G2 and an arcade stick. Now he doesn't mention a specific processor or speed, but I imagine that any mid-range processor of around 3 gigs or higher will do the trick. So what controllers do you need to actually play the game and move around in the environment? So you need your VR controllers to navigate and get into the, into the menu. You also need separate MAME compatible gaming controllers to play the actual games. So you swap between your VR controllers to your actual arcade gaming hardware and that could just be a, a standard gaming controller um, that's compatible with MAME and then you can get playing. The arcade time capsule was built with Unreal Engine, which listens to gamepad control inputs instead of keystrokes. So there's no keyboard input uh, in terms of playing the games. Some input devices, things like some PS4 controllers, they may need additional configuration guys outside the arcade time capsule to work. But the bottom line is, um, if it's a gamepad type device and it works natively with MAME, it should work fine with the arcade time capsule. All right, so what can you do in the arcade? Well, at the moment, you can play every arcade machine across seven floors in the virtual arcade. And at this version, two of the floors are currently inactive. Uh, they're currently being worked on. There's a couple of games that don't also work currently, even if you had the right ROM. Uh, and they are in the uh, instruction guide that Half Deck has on his Discord forum. So you can play the original arcade classics as you remember them from the 80s and 90s, and as I said earlier, in a very, very extremely authentic cabinet with all the right artwork and little dings and scratches and even fingerprints on the glass. It really is quite incredible, incredible in terms of the realism. You can also listen to music and the Pasadena level, you can watch a, a TV that's currently playing a video of the full guy. So can you do anything else in the arcade? For example, is there any multi-user playability or the ability to play consoles? 
And at the moment, the answer is no, because half deck is focused uh, predominantly on populating the arcade with more machines and or anything that he is currently passionate about. And remember, this is a personal project. So what he works on day, uh, you know, day to day and, and on next is primarily driven by what he wants in the environment. He may implement other functionality at a later date or he may not. We'll just have to wait and see and be patient and respect his time. Can you customize the arcade? So at the moment, you can only change the music and the video that displays on the TV. However, even those two elements aren't quite straightforward in terms of the process. I might cover that in a future episode because I have actually changed out the music and also put the Spacey's logo up on the TV. Um, but I might wait and just see what Half Deck does as he moves forward. If, if he starts adding more uh, user-friendly um, ways of updating the music and the video files, then uh, we may come back to that in a, in a future video. You can't make any other custom changes. So all lighting, textures, rooms, the room layout, the props, etc. All of those are currently fixed, guys. Um, and you also can't change out the games for other games. Uh, however, there are so many games in the application right now that you'll get a heap of enjoyment from just exploring all the games that are already there. But I'm sure there'll be some of your favorites that might be missing. Um, Half Tech does mention that if you, uh, you can edit the arcade using the Unreal Editor if you know what you're doing. But that's, yeah, the people that probably devs in that space. Uh, but of course, here he's going to continue to uh, update this over time, we hope. Can the community contribute to making more arcade models for the, for the arcade? Well, at the moment, not directly. So Half Deck has a channel um, in Honours Discord called uh, Things I Need, where he asks for certain assets to assist him. So if you feel you can help the project in some way, perhaps let him know in that channel, and I'm sure he'll get back to you. But can Half Deck add your favorite game? <laughs> you might be passionate about a particular game, guys, and you want it in the arcade as soon as possible. Well, the answer is he might, he might not, right? So again, he started this as something very much for himself, and he's generally just adding things that he wants to see in the environment. You know, even, even people have asked, you know, is there a 2D version of it? And there's not a 2D version of it because he just wanted to create a VR environment and that's what he's focused on and that's what he's going to do, right? So we have to respect that. Um, and he's doing this in his own personal time and it's not a commercial product. It's a free of charge product. He does have a, uh, a buy me a coffee link, uh, but that should be viewed for what it is. And that's just buying the guy a coffee to show your love and appreciation for what he's done. Half Deck does mention that donations are appreciated, but not required. So where can you get it? Well, there's a link uh, to Half Deck's Discord forum in the description of this video. Once in his Discord, view the hash download channel and find the download link. Now, some people have also started a torrent for it to help ease the congestion on the hosting servers he's using, because literally he's actually exceeded his quota on multiple days now and people can't actually download it. So there is a torrent that's going out there uh, by people in the community and you can look for the torrent details by other Discord members on his Discord server. I don't host them on my own guys, you can uh, certainly get them on his server. And But just remember to stay vigilant about using torrent links um, and security as torrents could contain anything, uh, any potentially undesirable extras. I'm not saying that these do, but I'm just saying be vigilant. How do you install it? Well, there is no complex install or setup process. Uh, simply you unzip the download file into any directory you want on your PC and then run the executable and it's that simple. This will actually get you straight into the environment and you can take a look around with your VR controls, you can listen to the music etc and you can use your VR controls to access the menu and jump to each of the seven floors except two and three, which are currently uh, disabled, as I said, in this version 2.0. And each game will have an attract mode running. Um, and so it looks like the games are sort of running on every 
uh, machine there. But these are just looping videos of the game. They're not actually the game themselves. And so the games aren't yet playable until you install the MAME game ROMs. So what are MAME ROMs, right? So Arcade Time Capsule uses the multi-arcade machine emulator, or MAME, if you're not familiar with that term, to emulate faithfully the original games from the 80s and 90s. And each one of these has a very specific ROM file which holds the equivalent of the original game to be run for an authentic experience. So how do you, you, you install the, the MAME game ROMs? Well, first of all, nearly all MAME ROMs inc include some copyright protected content. And so for this reason, they can never be distributed with an emulation program that uses them. And that's why they're not included with the arcade time capsule. It's a little bit frustrating when you open it and you think, oh, you just can't get in there and play the games. But from a legal point of view, guys, you just can't include ROMs with an emulator. And so you should do your own research regarding the legality of using ROMs. I'm not going to cover that here as it's a sizable topic on its own. All right, so where do you get the main ROMs then? <laughs> All right, so this is a common question. Well, once you've determined your rightful legal use, then you need to search for a specific main set of ROMs that will work uh, with the arcade time capsule. And the specific ROMs uh, version that you need is referred to as MAME 2010 or MAME for Droid. And so these are versions 0.139 or version 0.139U1. Now you need to find the non-merged ROMs. Uh, don't use the merge or the split ROMs or you may face some problems. There's some details about that, but again, we won't cover that now. But if you just get the non-merged ROMs, uh, you'll probably uh, fare out better. Now any other main ROM versions, for example, if you pull ROMs from 0.78 or 0.148 or one of the more later ones like 0.261, etc., none of those ROMs will work uh, with this platform, even if they have the, exactly the same ROM file name. So you have to get the right ROMs, guys. If you have the wrong ROM or a missing ROM, the game will crash. Now, note that you also need the BIOS ROM, so, uh, such as Neo Geo.zip, and otherwise all the, the games running Neo Geo uh, won't work. So you need to put that separate. And I think in the current instructions at the time of this video, it didn't actually list the Neo Geo.zip uh, as being a required file. So make sure you get that. Now, if you have the full ROM set, and that's pretty sizable, 31 odd gigs, um, but if you do have that you could just copy the whole set into the ROMs subdirectory and you are done. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have a whole lot of extra games or variants of the same game because they'll just simply be ignored guys so that's not a problem. If future games are added then you already have the ROMs for all those games there as long as they're part of the main 2010 ROM set and also as long as Half Deck doesn't change the main 2010 core that he's using because there are other versions of MAME that could be added to the program uh, and they could be added together and instead of being replaced so that's something he may do to uh, allow more compatibility for more games because each MAME version allowed you know, sort of improvements and, uh, and more variety of games as it went forward. Now don't unzip the ROMs or they won't work, they must remain zipped and they must be put into that ROMs subdirectory under content. Now, if you are loading just the individual game ROMs um, that Arcade Time Capsule needs, if you're just copying those across, then you can refer to the full game list, which includes the main ROM name for each game in the instruction documents under hash tutorials on Half Deck's um, Discord server. And you can use that to find the specific main ROMs and then just copy them again into the ROMs uh, subdirectory. 
Now, please don't ask anyone to supply you ROMs because of the legality issues. You must source your own, right? And many social spaces, it's sort of pretty much frowned upon if you ask, and worst case, you could be just straight out banned from a group. So don't do that. You've got the information here on what you need to do. So please just do it that way, and, uh, and that will be uh, better for all. All right, so once you've got those ma those ROMs loaded into that ROM subdirectory, what next? Well, um, you can just basically fire up um, the arcade time capsule, just go straight back into the arcade. And now, when you walk up to a machine, you can just grab it with your VR controller, and that action will start the main emulator and load um, the right game ROM automatically for you and then you can play the game, much like you would play it, you know, in MAME um, just normally anyway. But now you're playing it with the beautiful VR environment that's encased the whole game, which is awesome. Now you'll need to credit up the machine just like back in the day because it's running essentially the same code that was on the original machines and it's expecting you to insert a coin guys. So <laughs> inserting a coin will already be mapped to one of your arcade controller buttons. Remember, not your VR controller buttons because once you're playing the main game, you have to use your arcade uh, controller or joypad that's compatible with main. So, how do you configure your game controls though? Well, first of all, to play the games, um, you would have already plugged in that gaming controller that's compatible with MAME, but due to the sheer number of controllers out there, I can't go through them all, but each one is likely to have buttons and controls that work without any further configuration out of the gate, right? That's straight away they should, they should work. You'll just need to figure out which ones do what on your particular controller. But, however, if you want to, your button assignments are, you know, maybe not right, or you want to change them to suit you better, then while the game is running, and while you're looking at the game, effectively, so MAME is running, right, the game is running, simply press the tab key on the keyboard, and then you'll come up with the main MAME menu, and from there, you can change them through the settings in there. Now, there are plenty of tutorials on the MAME settings and controller configuration, so I'm not going to cover all that here, guys, but it's pretty intuitive. Um, and it's pretty easy to do to change out uh, your button assignments. Now, just remember that Arcade Time Capsule is expecting MAME compatible controller input and not keyboard input when making those assignments. All right, the keyboard will not um, work in assigning those keys. Okay, so what happens when you finish playing a game? Okay, so you can simply just walk away from it. And when you do, the program will close that instance of MAME and it will start replaying the attract mode video in its place. And so you can now walk to another machine and you can grab that new machine and start MAME and play the next game. However, if the program crashes when you do this, you may have to force close your previous MAME game before you start a new one. And there's an option in that main menu, menu off your VR controller to shut down the current active game. So when you select that, uh, Arcade Time Capsule will close the main game and switch automatically to a track mode using the looping video in its place. So this is an, an instantaneous. Uh, so you have to be quick to see that, it, that it's actually doing it, but it does do that. All right, so that's cool. How do you then move around the arcade? Well, the arcade time capsule currently supports teleport movement, not smooth motion movement. Uh, and that's actually a little bit nicer for people that feel a little bit motion sickness because the teleport from space to space and then your ability just to look around is just a lot easier on the on the brain than actually moving smoothly uh, as you're walking around. So you can use your VR controller to teleport you around the arcade floor space. Um, it can be a bit tricky because of the teleport lining up perfectly in front of a machine to play, but you can still move your own body and your head to position yourself perfectly. So this takes a little bit of trial and error to get in front of it properly, but you can do it. Smooth motion and easier lining up to the cabinet might be something Half Deck will consider uh, in future updates. We'll have to see. To move to each of the different arcade floors, guys, just activate the menu on your VR controller 
and choose the floor level that you wish to change to and it will take you straight there. Okay, so how do I sit down to play the Aero City cabinets? All right, so there's a button also on your VR controller that allows you to sit down or stand up. So for those Aero City cabs, or even if you just want to get in a lower position for even some of the stand-up cabs, you can push that button and go lower. Now, if it's not low enough, then of course you should go into your VR headset settings and change your relative height to the floor, and this will be different for each headset, uh, but it's a norm normally a, a setting in there that's quite easily accessible. And when you change that relative height, and that means your positioning for standing up and sitting down is going to be much better in the game when you go back in. So a little bit of trial and error there to get those heights right, probably, depending on your setup. All right, guys, so look, is there anything else you, re you need to know? Well, look, all of the, what I've gone through here are the basics to, you know, get the program, get it set up, get, up, get it running, you know, all the, the details are there about MAME and so forth. So you, you, you should have enough here to, to get you started. Now you should also refer to the short installation guide that's available in the tutorial section on Half Deck's Discord server and read through all the posts over there too. There's a bunch of people who have obviously come into that server now and they're sharing all their own experiences and their questions and answers. So if I haven't answered something that you've got uh, in terms of a question here, please go over to the Discord forum and see your uh, question may be answered over there. And also in the Spaces Discord forum, I've also got a uh, section now specifically um, for um, the arcade time capsule. So uh, you're more than welcome to come over and, and post any questions that you might have over in our Discord forum as well. Uh, obviously the less questions that Half Deck is answering, the better, because then he's got more time to do development and that's what we want him to do and so it can move the program along as it goes forward. So other than that, I think, look, just keep an eye on any announcements on his Discord server. You know, he may be releasing patches or updates and other important information. Um, and yeah, and obviously, um, please subscribe if you can to this YouTube channel because I will be following up and doing a whole load more content uh, on the RK time capsule including um, I'm going to be doing some uh, gameplay videos and I'll be uh, letting you know about patch updates and so forth as they come out and what the changes are so please subscribe if you want to keep um, on top of all the changes that are happening with this awesome program. And also on the channel, and you can have a look around, but I also have other content on here that's related to real and uh, virtual classic gaming and pinball. So I hope you can check those out too, and, uh, and I'll be sharing more of those sorts of videos in the mix as well as we go forward. All right, all the links are in the description. Thanks for listening, guys. Until next time, ciao for now.